Hi, about to show you how to do some chroma keying in Premiere Pro. It's actually a lot easier than it sounds. First of all, you need to actually film something that has a consistent background color. I've chosen green. Green is a very common sort of background color to do some chroma keying with. But it doesn't have to be green, it can be any color. The important thing is that the talent, the person you're filming, doesn't have that color on them. Otherwise, the image that you're going to key in will end up appearing on top of the talent too, which is not quite what you really want. So let's do this first. What we're going to do is I'm just going to uh, grab, I've already got an in point and an out point, and I'm just going to drag that across into my timeline. And it asks me, it warns me, do I want to change the sequence settings? And generally, yes, I always tend to do that so that the um, sequence knows exactly what the, sequ the settings were that, that I used when I filmed the original footage. That's going to be uh, interesting for when I grab my background image, it may be a totally different sort of setting. So let me just grab a background image. I'm just going to go to my folder here, my BGs and titles, my backgrounds and titles folder and find an appropriate background, something like, uh, let's see this one here. So if I grab that and drag that across into video layer one as well, and just put the playhead over it, you'll notice it's a bit smaller, the settings are different for it. So what we do is we do a right click on that still image, and I'm gonna go across to where it says scale to frame size. Click on that and instantly it, it scales itself to fit exactly the settings that I've got. So at the moment, at the start of my sequence, I've got the video footage and I've got the background over here. Now that's not gonna be very helpful because I want the background to appear at the same time as the video. So what I have to do is grab my video footage and just drag that up to video layer two and then grab my still background image and drag that across to the start. So now they're both happening at the same time. It's gonna make that a bit uh, longer so they both fit the same sort of time frame. Now, uh, for the next step is actually to do some cropping. I, I want to crop out as much of this background as I can already before I start putting a, a key filter in. Notice I've got some white there. I've got different shades of green, which is a bit of an issue. In a classroom situation, you're going to have different shades of that color. It's pretty much impossible to get a consistent color. You need a proper TV studio with proper lighting to do exactly what um, uh, what you see in the professional world. But with the key effect that I'm about to show you, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. You'll still get a really good result. So what I'm gonna do is do some cropping. To do some cropping, I'm gonna to go to my effects tab. I'm gonna do a little search for the crop tool, which is in the transform folder, which is in the video effects folder. Click that crop tool, bring it across to my video footage. And if I then go to my effects control tab, I've got some controls here for my cropping. If I'm going to crop to the left and crop to the top a little bit, crop to the right, right up to my arm. In fact, I'm also going to move myself across a little bit too. The reason I'm doing that is to get rid of some of that dark green because I'm going to get a much better result if I can have as consistent a green as, as possible. So. And it also looks good, it follows the rule of thirds where I've got myself on the right hand side, not sort of directly in the middle. It's a much better visually appealing type of, um, of look. So now we're ready for the fun part. Now we're ready for the actual filter, the, the chroma key filter. To find that, if you go to the video effects tab again, I just got rid of my crop search then so I can bring up all the folders. There's a video effects folder called the keying folder. If I open that up, there's a whole lot of keying filters inside that folder. The one that I love is Ultra Key. It does the job really well. So if I grab that Ultra Key and just drag it across onto the footage that's green, you notice some new tools have appeared in my effects control tab. This little droplet tool is the one I wanna grab now. And I'm gonna go and choose the color that I wanna key out. Now as soon as I click this, watch what happens. It's almost done a perfect key straight away. In fact, if, if you're not looking carefully, you can see it almost is exactly what you want. But if you go down to the bottom left-hand corner, there's some little imperfections there. It's a little bit of sort of darkness that what I'm gonna do is just grab some of the some of the fine tuning tools, and I think this one here might help me. That one's doing a reasonable job. I'm just gonna keep working through some of these until I get the exact result that I want. If 
here we go, that's, that's pretty much close. So I'm just wanting to uh, change the contrast a bit and I've got pretty much the effect that I'm looking for. If I grab my playhead, take to the start, hit the space bar, and you can see that I've got almost a perfect key that's sort of kind of working the way that I want it to work. So that's how you do some chroma keying in Premiere Pro.